top of the food chain, rock with a rat tail, king sanitation, covered at the trap mail, but the rest of the time, rap in a black mail, how you think I made it in the game, it's a rat tail, never made a Yo guys, what's going on? Timpus here. Welcome back to another video on the channel. So in today's video, I'll be teaching you guys how to make an insane gaming YouTube banner or header. Um, it's going to be in a pixel art style. It's going to look really, really cool. What we're going to be doing is like this really, really nice space themed um, header or YouTube banner, like I said. Um, it's going to be in a little bit of a different style. It's going to look really, really nice. You'll see a little image right now on the screen of what we'll be creating. Um, but yeah, this will look insane as your YouTube banner or header. Um, I want to try and get more people using pixel art YouTube banners and headers because they do look really, really nice and they're just unique and different. But yeah, it's very easy to do. Don't be thrown off. Um, it's actually very, very easy to do. Just keep watching my tutorials and you will pick up on all these nice tips and tricks. But yeah, I hope you do enjoy today's video. If you do, hit the like button. Can we break 100 likes on this video? That would really mean a lot, guys. Subscribe if you are new. And yeah, let's get straight into the video. Right, guys, so we are here in Photoshop. So. Um, this is basically what we will be making. We won't be adding the character in this one. I might do another tutorial for that um, But we will be doing the background and I might also do this this part over here um, This little dialog box is pretty easy very simple self-explanatory But we will be doing the nice background. So yeah first what you want to do is go to file new go to Make a 3000 by 1000 document and just open it up and then we're gonna go to image image size and I think it's 400 uh, we can just let me just check to see how many pixels uh, this one is image, image size oh 375 by 125 so I'm just gonna change it to that 375 and then it should do it automatically 125 that's okay and we're just gonna zoom in a bit and then for the background I'm gonna make it like um, a pretty dark blue so something like this and then press G on your keyboard to fill it in then add a new layer and what we want to start creating is this little um, nebula type thing um, it's very easy to do so what we're gonna do is you can either start with the back so the very last layer um, or the first like the one on top which is the white which is like the the brightest part so you can either do it from the back which is the darkest to the lightest it's totally up to you um, I think I'm gonna start with the very back and what you want to do is just choose whatever color you want to choose so I'm gonna do like a red um, I might make it a bit darker about that and then what you want to do is start creating some sort of swirly um, swirly design and it can go any direction I'm just gonna do something similar obviously this kind of helps if you've got um, a tablet I do, but I'm not using it right now. But yeah, I'm just going to freehand this. It should still look decent. But yeah, you can edit it. I'm just doing this for tutorial purposes. Um, I'm going to make it like thinner over here. So. And then you just want to press G and fill that in. And then you get this sort of pattern. Very simple. You can add extra pieces to it, like on the side. Um, just random um, lights, as you can see on this one as well. Uh, it's kind of hard to see. Once you've like layered up, it's kind of hard to see, but it blends well together. You can add like extra parts to it that drift off. Something like that. Um, but yeah, maybe spend a bit more time than I am. You can feel free to pause the video. But yeah, what you want to do now is just bring down the opacity of it to quite about 10% to be honest, something like that. Then you want to add a new layer and make this a bit brighter, like so. And you want to start doing the inside, following the, the same sort of um, pattern, kind of but you can change it up a little bit like maybe something like that curve round it's very abstract it doesn't have to be perfect because at the end it will end up looking really really nice I'm just going to do something like that and then if you've got 
gaps, like there's a bit of a big space over here, you can do something like this and then fill that in. I recommend filling in gaps uh, if there's a big gap with like extra pieces because it ends up looking really really nice and then obviously the little pieces that we added on over here, do something like that and then maybe another one over there. But yeah, you get the idea. I might do something like this. This is just how to make a really cool space background. Um, okay, we'll leave it as that for that. And then we wanna bring down the opacity of this one again. And eventually it'll get brighter and brighter as we go into the center. For this here, I'm just gonna do that. But yeah, you don't have to do red. Obviously you can do any color. If your channel is a certain theme, colour theme, feel free to use that colour. But for this example, red and blue I think look really nice. I'm going to do the blue stars as well. But yeah, you can, you can figure out what colours look nice together. So maybe something like this. Fill that in. Don't want this tutorial to drag on for too long, you know. So it's not going to be perfect. I'm gonna, it's a little bit rushed, but you do get the idea, hopefully. <laughs> hopefully you get the idea. Something like that. And then this can be a bit brighter, like so. I think I'll probably do two more little layers. In fact, yeah, like I said, you can add extra bits. Remember to do that, like little extra pieces in certain areas. Spend a bit of time doing this, making it look really detailed, because right now it's not... Like, usually I'd spend more time adding lots of tiny pieces. You know what I mean? But, yeah, I'm going to probably leave it like that. Oh, I did that on a new layer. I can always just bring down the opacity. What is it, 48%? Okay, and then add a new layer and make this one brighter up there. And then do the same again. Fill it in. Obviously, like I said, it's easier if you've got a tablet. I've got one, but I'm not using it in this tutorial. Um, but yeah, you can do it with a, a mouse as well or a tracking pad on your laptop. It's actually very... With pixel art, you don't really need a tablet to be fair. But it does help. But you can do it without. But yeah, so just keep going. I'm going to probably just leave it like that. And then you want to add a new layer and then choose like a, a really, really bright version of your colour. So I'm doing that. And then you just want to fill in the little pieces. I would usually have more pieces to work with, but for tutorial purposes, I'm not. Yeah, you wanna just fill in these little areas. Let's do something like that. And as you can see, we're kinda of getting there. We're following the same sort of pattern. Um, but yeah, once you've done that, um, we're gonna add a new layer go to the brush tool and choose the color you've been working with. Make the brush bigger. It needs to be a soft brush, shot on zero hardness as well. And just click in certain areas and set that to, yeah, linear dodge, set to linear dodge. Like so, very nice. Then add a new layer and Using white, you want to go to about 25%. Make sure the blend mode is set to overlay. And you can create some sort of like sparkles in the in the sky. The more times you click, the brighter it will get because we set the opacity to 25. So if you press quite a lot, it'll be brighter. And you kind of want to go all the way around and just add in random places, dark and bright. Um, stars and it'll eventually look really really nice like so 
and then you can also just bring the opacity all the way up and just set to and just have actual white little spots um, kind of in the center similar to where the white already is and you eventually get a nice looking thing um, and yeah it's looking really nice so far I'm gonna just quickly add some color corrections to make it much nicer go to brightness and contrast bring the uh, brightness down contrast up whoa uh, I'll then go to curves move this up and then move this down exposure bring the exposure up bring up the offset and the gamma correction not too much and then color balance you want to make it like more towards the color you've been using so I'm just doing like reds and pinks and then maybe a bit of blue like so and then you can increase the vibrance as well if you if you want to and then just group that and it makes it pop a lot more then add a new layer go to brush and make sure it's on white and in the areas of white you kind of want to add us like a bit of a glow maybe one like down there and set that to overlay looking nice and also another really nice thing that you guys can add um, is you can see like there's lines going across to do that all you've got to do is add a new layer <clears throat> go to white and just drag all the way across holding down shift and you want to just leave a gap between each one going down oops just one a uh, one pixel gap you can just press uh, ctrl j to duplicate it and move it down using the arrow keys and then merge them and then do the same and just keep doing it until you have filled the whole of the space like so control e control j move it all the way down this gives it a really really nice look once you've done this i usually do this last but i'm going to show you right now control e and then set it to overlay and then bring it down to about 28 percent and then there we go it looks really really nice next thing i'm going to show you to uh, how to do is the um, stars those are really easy all you do is just press once in the middle and then a kind of um, you kind of just do whatever you want but it needs to be even you need to know how many pixels you're doing so two down two up one either side maybe do another two up another two down it just needs to be even make sure you know how many pixels you're doing I do three and then I'm gonna have a centerpiece now I'll do do this like an extra pixel that looks nice and then maybe do another one down here they can all be different do whatever you want you just gotta make sure that the pixels are even or it might look a bit odd yeah and yeah just don't add too many of these just add a few but then you can also add some faded ones in the background to add a bit of depth to your piece you make this one have a longer center piece just have a mess about I'm gonna make this one longer and then do this But yeah, you get the idea. And then what to give it the glow, just add a new layer, go to brush and choose blue. Maybe something like that. That's a nice blue color. And about that, I'd say. And then for this one, make it a little bit bigger and click. And then set that to any of these work. 
but I think screen looks really nice. Bring down the opacity of it a bit. And then just keep adding more of them. And as you can see, you get the same sort of effect. Um, and then also, other, other things you can do in the background. Add a new layer below the, you know, the lines that we created. And I'm gonna just add, to change it up a bit over in this corner, a bit of a blue glow. And maybe down here. And just bring down the opacity of that to about that. Just to switch it up a little bit. And then if you add a new layer, in the background I like to add little stars in certain areas. But they need to be different brightnesses. And to do that, just bring down the opacity to like 20%. And then you can do that yourself. Very simple. Have some closer together than others, like really close. And some can be far apart. The more you click, the brighter they'll get. But yeah, you just want to fill it up. And obviously around this area, you need a lot more stars. So just remember that. But I'm just gonna probably leave it as that. And it kind of looks nice if you set it as overlay and then press Control J to duplicate it. And then Control J again. That looks really, really nice. So you've got like three layers, of the same, the same design on three layers set to overlay. It looks really, really cool because you get different colored stars that way. Um, but yeah, there's more stuff you can do. I might just leave it there. Another cool star that I like to do is this one. Where you just do that. They look really nice. You can do them in certain areas. And then set it to overlay. And boom, you've got like a little cool, another extra sort of star to switch it up. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, I might do a tutorial on how to do characters as well. But yeah, I'm gonna do so many different um, styles, not just space themed. Um, I've just got so many ideas, guys. So yeah, stay tuned. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like button, subscribe if you're new, turn on notifications. I upload every other day. And yeah, I'll see you in the next video.